What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the next video. My name is Alex, and we are finishing destroying the back of this porch. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing wonderfully well. I am doing quite well myself. It is a little bit late in the evening, but I am gaming and I am enjoying it. So yay! Um, I have been playing a little bit of WoW lately. Um, loving the new expansion. And it's amazing. If you haven't played it, please go and check it out and play it. I wish I could do YouTube or Twitch content for it, but WoW is just a terrible game for doing any real content like that with. It's just not a game that's designed for it. You know, I know that there are people that, you know, ha that have a lot of people that enjoy watching them, but WoW is not the type- WoW is more of a game for YouTube where it's like utility videos. It's like, Okay, I've discovered how to do this, how to do this dungeon, how this works, how this trick works, you know, how to do this certain thing. Those are great videos, I think, when it comes to World of Warcraft, but it's like, I'm going to level my, my Draenei mage. I don't even know if Draenei has mages. From level 1 to level 110. Join me on this 5 hour a day video for the next 7 months journey. <laughs> like, it just doesn't work. I don't know that anybody would ever watch those videos. And I wouldn't blame you. Uh, although I have watched, I usually watch when people do like 1 to 20 or 1 to 30, but I mean all the way, man. Just go play it yourself, you know? <laughs> Just go play it yourself. Unless, you know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like, there's some new races and stuff that are that are in WoW, so maybe I'll do like 1 to 10 on those, just so people can see it and have the experience of it. Um, but yeah, as of now, that's... It's not really content that's too particularly easy to create, and I tend to just zone out for a few hours on WoW at the end of my day anyways, I'm trying to get uh, different dailies done, especially the world events, holidays. Anyways, that's enough WoW talk for the day. You guys are already falling asleep, I can tell. So yeah, seven days to die. Feeling hyped. Feeling excited. What, what game are you guys playing currently right now? Now that we're all waiting for Alpha 17 to come out, let me know in the comments below. Um, what games are your current jams? For me, right now, it is... Really, it's, it's really, like, realistically, like, if I didn't do YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, I'd probably go between... Wow, Minecraft, Seven Days to Die, Don't Starve, throwing a little bit of, like, Papers, Please, or, you know, whatever in between. Games like like WoW are great when you're like trying to do a lot of work or like 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 sort of writing heavy work. I'm dying of thirst um, because you can like write stuff, need a mental break for like 20 minutes, go in, do like a dungeon, come out of the game, and then go do something else, and you can really multitask with it quite nicely. Uh, where Seven Days to Die. I was thinking about this earlier. I was watching a video last night randomly on YouTube that was talking about the top 10 celebrities that play World of Warcraft. And it was like on my suggested videos. And I was like, yes, please. I love things like this at like four o'clock in the morning when I need to go to bed. That's like the ultimate thing where I'm like, ooh, should I watch it? Oh, I probably shouldn't watch it. Click, I'm gonna watch it. So up comes like Jamie Lee Curtis, who is like a super well-known actress. Obviously she's been in a million things, starting off in Hall the Halloween series, which is super spookum. And she was at some kind, oh no, she's at the Warcraft movie, which I haven't even seen yet, which I feel bad about. I should probably watch it, but anyways. Um, at the Warcraft movie premiere with her son, who looked like he was probably early 20s. And they were dressed as World of Warcraft Horde characters. And um, so the woman, the interviewer, says to Jamie Lee Curtis, like, oh, you play World of Warcraft. And Jamie Lee Curtis is like, yeah, my son plays it. Like, my son is, like, really pro. He has something like, and he's like, yes, I have, like, 4,000 hours. And I was thinking about it, and I was like, man, 4,000 hours. It seems like a really long time. And then I think, like, when it comes to Seven Days to Die, strangely enough, this is going to sound really strange, because 4,000 hours is a lot, right? But with Seven Days to Die, like... I have like a couple thousand hours in Seven Days to Die on its own. I was playing World of Warcraft during like vanilla World of Warcraft, so I have like 14 years in World of Warcraft, taking breaks for a number of years because, you know, I I'm just not that into pandas. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so I have, you know, a couple thousand hours in this game. I played this game since like the early, early beta, probably the third beta, I think. I was, I, 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 third alpha, third alpha beta, was it? I don't know. Early days, really early days. And years ago, before it was on Steam, I was playing it from just the Funpins website. And um, you can have like a couple thousand hours in this game and still kind of feel like a noob. And I think to some extent that's because this game has had so many updates and things have changed over the years. Whereas like with WoW, if you have like 4,000 hours in WoW, like you know what 
what the heck you're doing your day you know you're going in that game like i know where to get the information from i know how to be organized you know you you, you got this you can play wow you, you can not play wow for like a year take like five minutes on the internet and know everything you need to know like pretty well in world of warcraft whereas with this game you're like i don't know what's happening like the changes have been so dramatic over the years that you would be so lost that's a terrible hole that i dug there um you'd be so lost right so it's just a strange kind of comparison people are like "Ooh, you have 4,000 hours but i'm like i know people who have 4,000 hours in this game and they still can die to random dog attacks like it's still challenging it's just a, it's a different kind of of a gaming experience kind of thing i don't know i was thinking of this earlier i was watching it but that got me into watching a make love not warcraft which was a south park episode i don't know if you guys have seen it it was on crave tv in canada we have uh we have something called crave tv which is like Netflix, but it includes all the HBO shows, South Park, all the stuff that Netflix doesn't have. And I was able to watch the old episode of Make Love Not Warcraft, which is where the characters play World of Warcraft. And it was such a good episode and it made me all like nostalgic. And if you guys haven't seen it, please watch it because it's hilarious and really gross, but it's South Park. And so of course it would be. And anyways, I'm going into a tangent now, but World of Warcraft for half an hour, but uh, the nostalgia. Should I chop this out here? Because they're going to come in right here, which is kind of what I want. I want to be able to control them. I don't want them coming from like everywhere. They Now, if I mess up their pathfinding, with past tests I've done, when you mess up their pathfinding, they're going to... What are they going to do? They're going to do... Uh, depends on what how the way you mess up. If I take bring them to here, and then I put a hole like that scoops around it like a horseshoe right here over to here they are gonna there they may not even rush into here they may automatically just go like no we can't go in there and they may just jump here and then start hitting this wall that's potentially something that could happen i don't i don't exactly know what but they're they're smart they're getting smarter i think in the next release they're gonna get even more smart so even more smarter is how they're going to get so it'll be interesting to see what they do is what I'm saying. I think this will be an interesting experience. This is not even... This is not even... Uh, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. They're not connected, so it's fine. I don't entirely know how deep I want to go with this. But I know I want to dig to... I don't know where I went to on the other side there. Uh, I, think it's a, I, think I gotta mark this off. Did you guys hear that sound? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, where did I go to with this? I didn't even go that far. Okay, so let's dig out from the side of the building because the last thing we want is to dig underground and then just take out the building. Which is why we're making all the concrete because we're gonna line the wall with concrete blocks. And when you line the wall with concrete blocks, especially when you upgrade them, the zombies are just like, nope. And usually they don't even bother. They just tend to kind of run around and freak out. There's ways you can mess with AI, which is not something I really like to do. I don't like to particularly mess with their AI because I kind of feel like it's cheaty and it's not that difficult to do. So I don't really want to do that. But I don't really know what they're going to do. So I think we're good here. I want to go one more. I want to bring it right to here. Anyway, some of the other people, strangely, that also play World of Warcraft are Vin Diesel and R.I.P. Paul Walker, who used to apparently, like Ronda Rousey was saying on an interview on The Tonight Show, that while she was filming with the Fast and the Furious 7, she would she, she told uh, Vin Diesel's brother or sister or something that she played World of Warcraft, and they were like, oh my god, you gotta talk to Vin about this because he's obsessed. And then she talked to Vin Diesel about this, and he was like, bro my house after this the filming is done and they would go over to vin diesel's house and they would all set up their computers like a land party although obviously it wasn't that but it was that kind of style and they would all run dungeons together after the days of filming fast and the furious 7 which is like how, three years ago was that movie so it's a recent thing and and vin diesel a couple years ago would upload videos of, of paul walker's and paul walker and him uh, with their avatars on their mouths running around in different areas and he would release these videos on like facebook and stuff um yeah which really kind of surprised me i don't know i don't know why this surprises me 
I just have a really hard time imagining Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, and Ronda Rousey going over to Vin's house so they could all play World of Warcraft together. But I, it said, it, she said it on the interview. I don't know why she would lie. And I feel like people have said before that she plays it, but I've never heard anybody say that they all played it together. I don't know. But hey, you know, I just think that's an excellent endorsement for her. <laughs> I have no complaints about hearing that. I think that's really cool. And then the McGregor fight, the McGregor UFC fight is coming up soon. Ah, I'm so excited. I've been talking to a sleeping guy about that. He's like, you know what, there's like Oktoberfest things in the day and we'll just go find a pub somewhere in the evening. And I'm like, Psh. yeah, a pub in Vancouver? Like, I don't know if where you guys are from, let me know. But in Vancouver, if there's a McGregor fight on, which is obviously not that common. The last one was what, like over a year ago? Um, if it's on in Vancouver, it's like impossible to find a place. The pubs will not even like let you in the door and watch the screens like from near the door. They put you in an area where you purposefully can't see the screen. You have to go like super early. So I was like, no, I'm putting my foot down. Like I'm not overly into sports. If you guys have seen me and he fums, uh, football, NFL, NFL videos. Uh, I'm not like super duper into sports, but I do kind of have some fun with it, but I absolutely love UFC. And obviously like this upcoming fight is going to be amazing. Always remember the saddest UFC fight situation I ever saw was when I had gone to every single Ronda Rousey fight because obviously, right? Because obviously. I had gone to every single, I would seen every single one of her fights, all right? And on the last fight, you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, not the last last fight, but like the second to last fight. She had won every single time in a knockout. And I'm not a drinker, so when I say I go to pubs, I go there and I drink water or I drink, like, I don't even drink soda anymore. So I maybe I would have gotten a Sprite back then, but now I don't even drink soda. Um, and how far close are we? Uh, okay. So I remember, like, there was a number of times where I would be there and then the server would come over and they'd be like, oh, hey, and the fight would have just started with Ronda Rousey. And the, the server would come over and I'd turn and she'd go, oh, would you like a, like a refill of your Sprite or your water? And I'd go, no, thanks. And by the time I turned my head back to look at the screen, she had already knocked the opponent out. And I was like, what is the point in this? Like, I was so, like, oh, I cannot believe that just happened. And so with the, with the last fight, I was out and about and this I should be able to yes. I was out and about and I was like yeah we'll find a place it'll be fine you know because I usually had my friends at a local pub that I could go to and they'd always save me a seat but you know I was with different people so I knew that like usually I have one seat saved for me and I knew that there would be we needed more than one seat so I was like yeah we gotta find a different place and kind of went around and I was like you know what so we ended up just going to find getting nachos because everywhere was just packed and I was like you know what like the, honestly the fight's just gonna be over in like five seconds so what's the point I was like what else and I'm sitting there and we're eating nachos and then like I look at the, my phone because I'm just curious to see like how quick the knockout was this time ha 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 and it's like Ronda Rousey got knocked out and I was like excuse me <laughs> excuse me internet and then I threw my phone across the room and just Hulk smashed it no I didn't but like internally I toasted on the like external I totally kept composed but like inside I completely freaked out I was like I cannot believe I missed that that must have been like the greatest moment ever to witness after seeing so many times where you just knock people out like without like a thought it's like hey what's up boom knocked out you know and then she went and basically pulled like the homer simpson where you know she can like how long could you take hits for you know and obviously i mean in the end it was learned it wasn't that long it was you know people started hitting her back instead of just the knockout right and <clears throat> it got a little awkward and uh actually i think that was opposite of the homer simpson example but you guys get what i'm saying so and then she did the next fight and she got knocked out again and whatever but she wasn't great in the fast and the furious movie which i'm not even really a huge fan of personally but yeah so, but she plays world of warcraft <laughs> so i think she said she plays a hunter or maybe it was a shaman i can't remember just google like celebrities that play wow or something that. Why do I feel like I've talked about this before? I feel like I remember talking about this in a stream a while ago. Not this video, it was a different video. I always get suckered in by videos like that. Okay, so we have one one sort of wide hole here. 
this isn't really the best way to dig a hole, I'm not gonna lie, but... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. We didn't really need that in our lives right now, but I'm gonna leave that there because we may end up using that. I'm not sure how. Now see... Oh, screw you! <clears throat> oh, really? That's how you want to do it? Oh yeah, because that's there. I forgot. Zombie? That's going to be a flipping problem, isn't it? I don't know what we're going to do about this. And the road's there. So this one is not, not, not ideal. We're going to have to take some of this out, I think. Which I don't want to do. Look at that. No. No, no. They're going to target this area. I think. They'll target that. Is there anything in here? Yeah, we need this. Oh yeah, we need the iron. Um. Yeah, we kind of we kind of do. Uh, can I just move this over like a block. That'll work. Haha. -ha. Okay, don't need this or 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 this. Ooh, we have lots of deer tay now. What can we use deer tay for? I don't even know. Oh god, that thing in my hand scared me. I thought it was a zombie coming into view. Anyways, lots of good. I've decided I've decided to change my sleeping schedule the way I do sleep. Cause with school, like I for the first time in forever. Um, I actually have to have a schedule. So, um, like before I was working in like a financial banking kind of industry where I worked really independently most of the time and kind of did my own thing. Um, I mean, I had to make it to appointments and stuff like that, but a lot of my schedule was sort of like meetings and stuff that could be like scheduled around what my schedule was. Um, and now I actually have to be certain places and finish certain things at certain times, which is different for me. So I am finding that I need to like create a sleeping schedule. So yeah, I am going to start working on that tonight. Um, whereas usually, I don't know about you guys, but like I personally, I, I'll like play video games. Like after I'm done my day, I'll like sit down and do some gaming. Maybe some YouTube, maybe some streaming, but some gaming variety. And at that point, when I'm done, I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm tired. I gotta like sit down for like at least like an hour. And like maybe two, like a good hour and a half to two hours where I'm just zoning out to YouTube or Netflix or create TV. Like I just have to do that because otherwise I'm just too wrapped up from gaming. It keeps me way too awake. I can't just game, boom, go to bed. So, I basically will end up just watching YouTube until I sort of pass out, or the time where I have to go to sleep because I have to get up will hit, which will be like... I mean, my sleeping schedule is not that good. At this point, I'm going to bed at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, and getting up at like 11. But it, I mean, it works for my schedule, so whatever. Um, I, I was I had planned to go to night school for the next few months, so I kind of set it up to that. But I mean, I'm a night person anyway, so... Um, so now what I'm going to do, instead of just zoning out to YouTube all night, is I'm going to watch YouTube and then I'm going to get ready for bed and change my PJs and then just go to sleep, which is different than just passing out to YouTube. So I don't know how it's going to go, but tonight I'm going to give it a try for the first time and I will let you guys know because, you know, you get stuck in the YouTube rabbit hole of celebrities that play World of Warcraft and now I have to watch this South Park episode and before you flip, flip and know it, it's like, you know, what, 4.30 in the morning and you don't get a very good sleep that night? It's not good. Oh, I don't want this here. This has to go. Alright. That's lovelyly unstraight. I've been writing big words all day, guys, alright? So lovely, unstraight is as best as I'm gonna get right now. I have to get up tomorrow and I have to finish writing my paper on Grisham. What the heck did I do here? I guess that'll work. That side's not really equal with it, but... Hell yeah, there, there's some relief in actually, like, 
how often everyone goes like hashtag fake news but how often do people then stop and spend like 12 hours researching things not very many people do it and i'm not gonna lie like the motivation of getting paid to do it definitely comes into play for me um i may know things but i didn't know 90 percent of the things i know now from researching the actual statistical numbers and even then that's just what the current information is and five years from now who knows maybe you can find out it was just a big fallacy and it was all faked but um you know when you when you really look through the actual statistical documents it's you get a lot more information and it's nice it's kind of a nice feeling to actually have information that has no opinion on it it's just like here are the numbers we've gathered and you're like oh and then you have to just take the time to go through all the numbers and come up with your own conclusions and um i'm enjoying that that kind of aspect i could see like once i'm done with college university etc um going into a field that is like research related i enjoy it I enjoy getting actual information. I'm tired of getting fake information, and I'm thinking maybe the world at some point will. Is that a zombie? Just bring out the torch. No, that's a that's a mailbox. That would be a mailbox. Maybe at some point people will get sick of doing that. Who knows? I don't know. There are like no zombies around. We had that zombie horde, and then they just stopped. Should I take this out? I don't know. I'm indecisive about that. Hmm. Take off. Oh, out the torch. Oh my goodness, you're a zombie apocalypse lady. What are you doing? Like, how often is that really gonna happen in life? You're like, whoops, giant torch on fire. <laughs> like, in your backpack. <laughs> Did I leave this thing burning in my backpack and then just accidentally grabbed it? Okay, this has to be double wided. What's going on back here? This has to be double wided as well. It's deep enough. It's definitely deep enough. It may not seem like it, but it is deep enough. We just need it to be too high. We just basically don't want them to be able to get out. And if we put the concrete on the inner wall, it'll be one high. Maybe we'll do three. You know, digging a trench is really not as hard as I remembered it being. So I'm just going to continue on digging the trench. And I am going to leave you guys here with a reminder that how oft of how often we upload videos here on this channel every single day mother flipping day so expect more videos coming at you tomorrow I'm trying to combine some minecraft and seven days to die seven days to die is my priority obviously because it's just my home and minecraft videos uh, consistently throughout the week as i can bring them out i like to do two videos a day but with my current schedule i'm just trying to get it settled so um i'll keep you posted but i'll do my best to come out with a good couple of minecraft videos every week and consistently throughout the week seven days to die videos because it's just it's my jam it's my home, it's where, I, it's where I really like to play, it's my sandbox. So yes, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video and I hope you enjoy this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are very close to 50 subscribers, which I am very, very excited about. We only need two more, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next one. Later! Bye bye bye!